I made a mistake in a previous video that I should really clarify. Uh, like, if you remember my video on object orientation, I discussed the difference between Alan Kay's definition, because he was one of the original proposers of object orientation, and the common definition. Well, when I was discussing higher order functions in IDA, I only presented the common definition, which is to conflate the meaning of a higher order function and a functor. As far as the formal correct mathematical definitions go, a higher order function is very much not the same thing as a functor. A functor does have a higher order function implemented for it, a very specific one, but they're not the same thing. However, the common definition is, like I said, just to treat them as basically synonyms. So what I want to show, since I, I already showed what a higher order function is specifically, is uh, really what a functor is. Now I've only implemented this for one of them. Uh, it was something I wanted to implement anyways, because they're remarkably useful. Uh, you'll hear a lot of functional programmers say map. Uh, I'll, I'll create synonyms for these uh, that are called map, but uh, I usually go with apply because you're applying the callback to it. But apply or map, what that does is it takes the, uh, the subroutine you pass to it and calls that on every single element of the object. I'm using object in the general sense here. Uh, data type. It, it calls it on every single uh, value within that data type. So in the case of array, it iterates over the array, taking each value, calls the, uh, the callback on it, and then returns a new, in this case, an array, with the result. This is obviously a very useful thing to have defined because you're t talking about the entire looping being done for you. Just a minor convenience, you know, you can get away without it, but it is definitely a convenient thing to have. The presence of this is specifically what makes the array a functor. Any array that would not have this defined, any list or heap or anything that does not have this map or apply function defined for it, is not a functor. So in this case, while array is the functor, apply or map is a higher order function. That's the difference.